Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day by Winifred Watson. Um, I saw the movie of this a few years ago and absolutely loved it. And then I, I must have known it was a book because I must have seen it on the credits, but then I forgot. And I think Ange from Beyond the Pages mentioned it in one of her like most wanted videos or something like that. Anyway, I heard about it again and was like, oh my God, that movie is perfect. That book is going to be so good. So I bought a copy for her for her birthday and then bought a copy for me for my birthday. And I read it and it was just spectacular. It was every bit as delightful as the movie and I loved every single word. Um, we went to Caloundra for a few days, which is on the Sunshine Coast. So I was at the beach and I read this at the beach and just... It was so good. Um, it wasn't perfect. It was written in um, 1938. So it is very much a pre-feminism book in that um, Miss Pettigrew especially kind of believes that women's lives are going to be improved by men and that um, a woman's life is never really complete without a man which didn't really sit that well with me, but there weren't that many um, instances of that, so that was okay. And a few um, other things was that, again, it was written in the 1930s and there were a few comments made by characters that were just casually racist. But again, I think there was only like two of those and in the grand scheme of things, it wasn't major. Like it wasn't someone being maliciously racist on purpose it was just like a um just an incidental thing which doesn't excuse it but it, it my point is it wasn't that big of a problem um and excuse me being a hypocrite and not whinging about the lack of diversity in this novel like i did in the other one but this is neither set nor was it written in modern times, so I feel I can excuse it a little bit, you know. Doesn't bother me as much with books that were written over 50 years ago. Books that were written less than 10 years ago, it's gonna fucking annoy me. Books written before that, don't care so much. Um, anyway, yeah, I gave it five out of five stars. I just, it was absolutely delightful. I'm gonna reread it. So, so much because it was just really, really good. Um, it was quite different to the movie um, because it was written in 1938 and the movie wasn't made until the, the mid 2000s or maybe it was like 2010. Um, anyway, it was made very recently. So in hindsight, in the movie, they put in a pre-World War II subplot, which really enhanced the story and kind of made the characters of Joe and Miss Pettigrew all the more um, like real because they had lived through the First World War and knew exactly what was coming and all of the bright young things had no idea and it just kind of made it really, really tragic and really that much more moving. Um, and obviously that isn't in the book because World War II hadn't happened yet when it was written. So. Um, that was missing and it was a little less re a little less rich for the lack of that but overall it didn't take away too much and I just I loved every second and also I really think that this is the most well cast movie in the history of anything it was specifically for um Whatever character was played by Mark Strong in the movie, now I forget his name, his description was absolutely perfect, as was the description for Joe and um, Edith. And it was just, I read it and I was kind of like, holy shit. A plus job movie casters, because it they looked exactly how they were described. So yeah, um, TLDR, this is an amazing book. Everyone should read it. Everyone should watch the movie. It's just, absolutely delightful and it would just it would just make you happy it's just perfect <laughs>